today and seeing you and you and you and you and you and you I see you back there oh it's so good to see you you know that well I have another Bible story to tell you today and it's such a great story it's about God's plan God plans everything remember he planned the whole world you do that the whole world he planned everything. He planned the sky. He planned the trees. He planned the birds, the fish. He planned people. He planned the animals. He planned everything. So he always has a plan and he knows you best than anything. Is that, isn't that that something else? That God knows all these things because there's a great plan out there. Well, you know what this plan was? This plan was about a man named Joseph. <gasps> yes, Joseph. God had a plan for him too, and he had a plan for everybody. But one day, Joseph's dad gave him a coat. It was a beautiful coat, and he liked wearing it. He'd wear that coat, and put that coat on. It had many colors in there. I think they made a movie about that. But anyway, there's colors on that coat, and it was such a great looking coat. But you know what happened? His brothers didn't get a coat. <gasps> you know how many brothers he had? He had count. 11, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, I need another one, 11, 11 brothers, oh my goodness, how many out there have 11 brothers, no, come on, 11 brothers, maybe you have one brother and a couple of sisters, two, three, maybe, brother and sister, well, you have a mommy and daddy, grandpa, grandpa, aunts and uncles and brothers and sisters and all these kind of people out there. Oh, we know that already. But he had 11 brothers. And when those brothers saw that Joseph had a coat, a beautiful coat, they didn't like it. No, they had their sad face. Make a sad face. We don't like sad faces. We like happy faces. Smile, happy faces. Can you smile? Let me see that smile. Let me see. Smile! Oh, that's a great smile out there. Well, you know what? They didn't like the fact that Joseph had a beautiful coat that his daddy gave him a coat. They got so upset with him. You know what they did? <gasps> oh, they took that coat and they threw it in a hole. And then you know what they did? They threw Joseph in a hole. That is terrible. Wow, those were meanie beanie people. That was not very nice of them. They should not have done that. But then they said, uh-oh, his other brothers came and said, you better get him out of that hole. So they took him out of the hole. But then they sent him far away because they didn't like him. That is very not, that's not good. That is very mean. That was very upsetting to everybody. It upset everybody. But you know what? God has a plan. And he has a plan for you and you and you and you and you. And you, I see you out there. And you too. And now, when Joseph had the pl God's plan in his life, he became very successful. And God said, I have a plan for Joseph. And Joseph, he prayed, oh, dear God, help me. And you know what? God helped him. And Joseph's plan came true. God had a plan for Joseph, and Joseph prayed, and it happened. Joseph became very famous after that, and he was an incredible person out there. But the important thing is, God has a plan for you, and you, and you, and you, and you, and you, and you. Even you out there, I see you. Yes, and you have to pray all the time for God's plan because you want that plan to happen for you too. And your brothers, and your sisters, and your mommy, and your daddy, and grandpa, and grandpa, and aunts, and uncles, and friends, and everybody, and everybody all the way out there. And everybody in the whole wide world, God has a plan for them. So the important thing is that first you pray and you ask God, what is the plan? I know what God's plan is for my life. Pretty much what's going on today in my life and what I do and God showed me the plan. I prayed and he showed me the plan. Now you have to pray and you have to see how the plan works out for you. And you know what? 
every day God talks. And you know what talking is? Prayer. You pray, God listens, you pray, you talk, you hear, and then God shows you a plan. Right now, you know what God's plan is? To be with mommy and daddy, and your brothers and sisters and grandma and grandpa and aunts and uncles and all those people out there. That's God's plan for you. Now, as you get older, God has a plan for you on what you're about to do and the life that you're about to lead. God will show you the plan. This is the most important thing in your life, that you love God. Who has a plan for you? God has a plan, because who made you? God made you. Say, God made me. Let me hear you. God made me. And God has a plan for me. Say that. God has a plan for me. You. That's what he's talking about. He's talking about you. So I want you to understand that God has a plan for you. So keep praying. Keep learning good things. Keep growing older and older and learning wonderful things. And you will start seeing God's plan in your life. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for the plan in all our lives. Thank you for what you're doing. Thank you for providing all our needs, protecting us against anything that is dangerous out there. Protect our families around us and making the provision for all the things that we have. And show me the plan as we walk with you every day of our lives. In Jesus' name we pray. You say that. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, that's a great story. You like that story? I like that story. Well, God has a plan for you. And remember, he loves you and 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 you. Well, goodbye. We'll see you again next time. Take care. He's got a, he's got a plan. He's got a, he's got a. Yes, he does. He's got a plan for me. He's got a plan for me. He's got a really, really, really awesome plan for me. He's got a plan for me. He's got a plan for me. He's got a really, really, really awesome plan for me. That's what I know. Oh, that's what I know.